Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the, the Lenovo ThinkPad T480. So this is a product that was announced in late December, uh, about a week ahead of CES. And uh, CES was where they announced the ThinkPad X1 flagship. So they have a ton of ThinkPads. They announced probably about a, a good eight of them in, in December. And that's the um, the T series, the X series, and there's the L series. And then there was then there's the X1 flagship. So um, you know, if you've been following along, I've been working with a lot of ThinkPads lately. I just published the review for the X1 Carbon, which is an awesome laptop that's thin and light. So this is also a standard laptop form factor. And if we get this open here, uh, we can see it doesn't come in a, in a fancy box, which is true of most ThinkPads, although the new Yoga does come in a fancy box. Um, and the reason for that is because Think is Lenovo's business brand, and that means that most people that ever use this device will never actually uh, see the box that it comes in. These things get stacked on shelves, and, you know, like I said, the, the, the people that use them really don't, uh, don't see the box. So, we can see if we open this up. Uh, it's kind of a, a thick, sturdy laptop. All ThinkPads are designed to, to be shockproof and dustproof and uh, mil S STD810G tested. So uh, we can see it does not come with a battery pre-installed, unlike the X1s, which are in uh, carbon fiber unibody. So I mean, obviously, by the way, it is carbon fiber, which is typical for ThinkPads. It has the old ThinkPad branding on it where, see it has that, that grayish silver where the new X1s actually have a chrome look and the new X1s have an X1 where that Lenovo logo is. Alright, let's see what else is in the box. We have a 65 watt USB Type-C charger, power cable, and there's going to be a battery in here. So, you can actually hot swap the batteries on these, and the reason for that is because there's a 24 watt hour uh, internal battery, and then there's this external battery here, which we're going to plug right in. This one, this one is 24 watt hour. So th there's there's different ones. Uh, you can get a 48 watt hour battery, a 72 watt hour battery. Okay, and by the way, if we look at the sides here, we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports and this spot right here is set up so you can hook up the the dock which that's one of the main features of the new the new ThinkPads is that that there's a new docking station that you can just plug right in um, over on this side we have two USB 3.0 type A ports HDMI 1.4 networking SD card so oh and also a 3.5 millimeter audio input output jack so one one thing that that you're gonna notice. Oh, by the way, one of the Type C ports over there is Thunderbolt three, and the other one is USB three point one Gen one. So that that's worth noting because Thunderbolt three is forty gigabits per second. You can power two four K displays with it, or one five K display, and um, USB three point one Gen one is five gigabits per second. So so that's definitely something you're gonna want to be aware of. All right, let's boot this up we have a fingerprint reader over here that we can see okay there's no uh, facial recognition in this model uh, we do have a privacy shutter which we can kind of see if we go right here um, and this is a feature that's been becoming very popular on different different devices that are coming out from uh, other than Lenovo HP's doing it Huawei I think Dell is doing it and um, the idea is that People tend to put a piece of tape over that, and you don't have to do that anymore. So this this material over here, it actually, if you uh, if you're familiar with ThinkPads, this actually feels very different because this is a glass fiber reinforced plastic uh, material. So this machine is really just meant to be sort of a workhorse, and it's really sturdy. So one of the main improvements that we've gotten new ThinkPads is the eighth generation core processors. Uh, these are quad core. If we go over here, we can see that this one's got an i5-8250U. Uh, so it's quad-core, where the U-series has previously been uh, dual-core. And there's different companies give different figures about how much that boosts the performance. Um, you know, some companies set up to 45%. I say about 30%, but it really depends on your workload. Uh, if you're running virtual machines, that's a big one. If, you, if you're a Hyper-V user, 
those cores will definitely come in handy if you're, if you're running virtual machines. Um, and this is Windows 10 Pro, so the good news about that is that Hyper-V does come with it. All right, if we just... Winver... Yeah, Windows 10 Pro, uh, 16299.309, so we are going to have some updates to run. Uh, but this is this is a uh, pretty basic. We're not. It's not a convertible. It's a clamshell laptop. Uh, we've got a 14-inch full HD display. This this one is non-touch, although I believe it does come with the touch model. Um, and uh, that's about it. There's there's really not not that much to say about the uh, the ThinkPad T480. Although one thing I will say is that the body that it comes in. This is a similar chassis to the the one that you. have you would find in the ThinkPad 25 that came out last year, and that was the 25th anniversary ThinkPad. And um, yeah, so that that was based on on this model or last year's T470, but this is a very similar chassis to that. I am going to be reviewing the T480s also, and that's like a, a slimmer version of this, so it's going to be interesting to put those two next to each other. Um, other than that. You know, Lenovo does designs a little differently when it comes to uh, convertibles and clamshell laptops. So I just finished reviewing the, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, which is a clamshell. I've got the ThinkPad X280, which is also a clamshell. They both have this round power button here. And then things like the X1 Yoga, which is a convertible, that has the power button on the side. So so this is all very similar. to This is this is the clamshell design. It's a little bit thicker. It's got a little more... more um, it's a little more rugged, really. You know, you can hot swap the batteries if you're out in the field doing something with this. It's a, it's a pretty cool device. You should be able to drop it on the ground and it won't break. There's no dedicated graphics, which is a little disappointing for a device that's that's this uh, this thick. It's a little heavy, three three and a half pounds, whereas the, the X280 and the X1 Carbon were both about two and a half pounds, so they're super light and easy to carry around. But um, this, this one's not designed exactly for portability. It's it seems to be designed to be a little more rugged and tough and, um, you know, just more of a workhorse in general. So um, as, far as, as far as performance goes, I mean, I don't have to do a full review to know that the performance is going to be pretty good. Lenovo engineers these things pretty well, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. So stay tuned. In a few weeks, I'll have a review of the ThinkPad T480 and really a whole bunch of other ThinkPads. I mean, coming up, there's going to be the, the ThinkPad X1 Yoga, uh, third generation, the X280, the T480, the T480S, and uh, who knows, maybe there will even be some more by then. So stay tuned for that, and um, that's it. This is the uh, ThinkPad T480. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.